Hi everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. We're the village's newcomers. We're out on an exciting uh, adventure today. We always look for things to bring you that we think you'll like. And today we're in Tavares, or is it Tavares? I don't know. We're in Tavares, Florida, which is only 15 miles from where we live. Yeah. It is the seaplane capital of the world. It is beautiful here. Oh my gosh. It is. We're right on the uh, bank of, I think it's Lake Dora. But behind us, you can see this building. That is the Jones Brothers Air and Seaplane Adventure. And uh, they are going to take us up today. So we're going to actually fly in a seaplane. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. Plenty of room and there are beautiful docks here. Uh, Central Florida, right, right this particular area has about 1,400 lakes. We're going to find out how many of them are capable of being landed on by an airplane. But this airplane that we're going to fly in has big pontoons and will actually take off and land right here on the water. Wow. Are you be... I'm nervous? nervous. I am nervous, but <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> take a look at this beautiful scenery. Just gorgeous. This young lady is going to be our pilot today. And from the very moment she was born, her parents knew she was going to take to the sky. So they named her Skylar. And we are so thrilled to be going up with you today. Yay, me too. I'm excited. How long have you been a pilot? Um, I've been flying for about five years now. Oh so, my yeah. goodness. So I was 16. Yes. Do you fly other types of planes or just seaplanes? Um, I fly land planes as well, and I also have my uh, multi-engine rating, so I can fly multi-engine aircraft, only on land though. Um, but yeah, and I also have my instructor's license as well, so I was instructing for about two years before I came. So uh, what you're saying is we're in good hands today. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> now, what kind of plane will we be flying in? We're going to be flying in a Cessna 206. So. And it, instead of wheels, it has pontoons? Mm-hmm. Yep, so we got floats on it. It's a little float aircraft, but it actually does have wheels on it as well. So, um, yeah, so we're going to basically, it's an amphibious aircraft, so we're basically going to be driving it into the water, and then we'll pull our wheels up. Oh, man, this, will be a, this is going to be a first for us as well. <laughs> now, Jones Brothers. Mm-hmm. This is the business they're in, sightseeing? Yes, yes. And so every day you're open for people to come and take flights. Mm -hmm. So we're actually open uh, for the time being, we're open Wednesdays through Sundays. But um, yeah, just about, we're doing all the um, sightseeing tours and we do instruction as well. And what, uh, what types of flights do you offer? Um, so we offer anything from 15 to an hour long flights, all in 15 minute intervals. Um, but so they're all tours, but we also do excursions as well. So maybe, like a lunch fly out so we'll fly you out to lunch or we'll fly you out to a dinner like a nice fancy dinner or um <laughs> we do a little um like we, we can do custom flights as well um so there's a little price here <laughs> but i did a little bit of research and i know that central florida has lots of lakes oh yeah 1400 in this general area yep. how many of those would be big enough to take off and land your plane um, not very many of, many of them because a lot of the ones that they do count in that are like small ponds or like sinkholes or something. So, um, I, that's a good question. I'm not entirely sure, but I would definitely say like, like at least half of them, maybe not, like maybe less. And how high will we be flying today? Um, 
seaplane pilots, we usually fly pretty low to the ground, so we'll be at about 500 feet today. Okay, well, we can't wait. Yeah, me neither. What lake is this? This is the plane we'll be flying. We're going to get into it right there and then taxi down to the water. And then an exciting takeoff and into the wild blue yonder. Skylar says it gets a little warm in the plane. So we're going to kind of psych up for that. We're just about to go. Man, is it hot. All right, I'm going first. All right, yeah, go on in. So the seat does not click in place and watch your head. You're really tall, so. He's six. Extra prone to it. Six straight. Wow. That's nothing compared to her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> So since we are a plane and a boat, I do have to go very quick safety briefing before we go, okay? So just make sure to wear your seat belts. They'll be on each side of you. They like to get full and get lost in the cracks, but they're there. Um, we do have puke bags in the back in case you start to feel nauseous, okay? <laughs> we also have life jackets. So there's two yellow ones in here. There's one in there, and there's going to be one in the front pocket for you. See ya. All right? So in the state of an emergency, we would inflate the life jacket after we get out of the plane. Otherwise, we won't be able to get out of the plane. <laughs> and this is our main exit right here. So. You have little, this is our natural AC in the back here, okay? And then you and I have these up front. <laughs> and also for the headsets, um, they have adjustable uh, volume on the sides, so you can adjust those accordingly. And try to keep the microphone pretty close to your mouth, otherwise we won't be able to hear you. Um, but don't worry, everything's sanitized, <laughs> and we can sanitize everything more if you would like. <laughs> you guys have any questions? No. All right, cool, let's go. You guys ready? Yes, ma'am. Here we go.
these headsets are really nice. It uh, really dampens the sound of the plane. How are you doing, Linda? I love it. You doing okay? Great. All right. And I'm going to swoop by the base again, a little bit lower, so you can get a view of our face. So nice. Southern Indiana is a very hilly place. Oh really? It's odd not to see any oh, hills. Yeah. So you As... see that one hill out in the distance? So it kind of goes up just ever so slightly. Yeah. So that's uh, the tallest mountain in Peninsula, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... it's called like Sugar Hill or something like that. Oh. I don't remember the exact name, but yep, that's, it's like 280 feet. <laughs> wow. The tallest mountain in Peninsula, Florida. Interesting. Yeah, so this is Lake Harris right here. And we can come in for a little landing over here by Long Island. So I'll just do a little splash and dash. We're going to do a splash and dash. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a new development going in here. Oh, yeah. It hasn't really uh, developed all too much since COVID, yeah. but they're working on it. Oh, it's beautiful looking down. There's uh, an orange grove, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Wow. Touch and go.
what when oh, do yeah. you shut down when certain winds are up or the wet the yep. water's getting too choppy? Yep, exactly. So either when the winds are too high up or if lightning's too close around. Gotcha. Or even sometimes uh like if it's really, really heavy rain, we won't we wouldn't be able to see outside in front of us. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, I was worried about having rains today, so we right. we left out. Yeah, I'm glad you guys came early. That's good. Right to the left, we have Bird Island. <laughs> Everywhere's got a Bird Island, right? This is just our Bird Island. The bird Island, okay. Yeah. I've heard from a lot of locals as well that it used to be called uh, Goat Island because a single goat was on it. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I believe it or not, to be honest. Yeah, funny. But I think it's funny. <laughs> on that island, right? And you rolled across I it. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> There's a goal, right? <laughs> There's a goal <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Do you know how long a body of water has to be before it's okay to land and take off in it? Um, it depends on the airplane. So personally, with this plane, I would like the lake to be at least a mile long, just so we have a, we can clear obstacles as well. Now, do you have the right to land in any lake that's large enough? Um, no, that's actually, uh, it's up to the city on whether that's okay or not. <laughs> there we go, that one was better. <laughs> That was smooth as silk. I didn't even know she landed. I thought, what? Wow. Thank you, thank you. That was great. Was like, my first one was not great. I need to redo that. <laughs> yeah, so it's up to the city on whether they're like seaplane friendly or not. Like if they are okay with seaplanes being around or if they think seaplanes are too noisy. Mm -hmm. Not too eco-friendly. <laughs> you know, so it kind of just depends on the city. Well, I've heard any landing you can swim away from is a good one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we are also about to fly over some salt mills over here. So the water is really, really pretty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It almost looks like it looks really refreshing to me, uh -huh. like like almost like glacier water. Yeah, it's very blue. Oh yeah. Wow. That's pretty. Do you know what year this airplane is, was built? Um, I believe in either late 70s or early 80s. It's, it's late 70s or early 80s, I'm just not sure of the exact number. It's it, nice and roomy back here. Oh yeah, it can see, it can see uh, up to six people total. Oh wow. Yeah. Not bad, right? Uh-huh. And I'm just going to make a quick radio call to dispatch real quick. over a boat over here on the left. 
The voters get really excited when we come by. <laughs> Usually, it depends on the voters. Yeah. <laughs> if they're fishermen, not so much. <laughs> right. <laughs> your window if you would like. Yes. I know. It's a little warm. <laughs> Air conditioning. <laughs> and do you mind if I open the door? You don't have anything to No, go right ahead. Out? No. Uh, Alrighty, cool. Uh, Although, yeah. I, I've got to say, I was not, it's hot outside, but I was perfectly comfortable. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, the back is a little bit cooler than the front is because we got the sun and we only have one air vent. You guys, the back has like three air vents, mm. which is great. <laughs> You enjoy it, Linda? I loved it. Absolutely oh, good. Loved I'm it. glad you liked it. Oh, my goodness. All right, watching out for any swimmers. Oh. <laughs> she said that they could have fallen in. <laughs> And this is Megan, one of the owners. Yes, sir. I want to thank you very much for the experience. Well, thank you for coming and flying with us. She did a lovely job. She's a good one. Thank yeah. you, neighbor. Yeah. Yes. We did find out the proper way. We didn't found out. We learned. <laughs> we learned the proper way to say the name of this little town, which is the seaplane capital of the world. It's Tavares. That's right. Who knew? <laughs> they do. <laughs> You were apprehensive about the flight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now it's over. What did you think? I thought it was awesome. I am just totally thrilled that we did it and uh, able to do it today. And the weather was perfect. We had a great pilot. You couldn't ask for more. Mm -hmm. The plane was clean. It was uh, uh, just a great experience all the way around. Yes. It's right here at Jones Brothers Air and Seaplane Adventures. We highly recommend it. How far was it? It was 15 miles, about 30 minutes from where we live in the villages. And uh, it's definitely an experience. If you're looking for something to do, you can go on flights as short as uh, 15 minutes or all the way up to an hour or right. more. So uh, yeah. check it out when you get a chance. We really had a good time. Until next time. See you when you get here.